We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. Be the change. Be the change. Come watch the No Filter Show. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas. Online shopping made easy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the No Filter Show with me, Gina Knowles. Hope everybody had a great week. So far, my day has been going pretty special because I want to let you know about this hairdo of mine, but I'll let you know about that later. Today on the show, we have former MP Leslie Miller as well as Gina Jenkins, our head Knowles admin. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy it. Have a good day. I don't want to say have a good day. Enjoy your show. <laughs> no Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas, Bank of the Bahamas, Quality Home Center, Dairy Queen, Chef Boyardee, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and The Pediatric Place. Hey, hey boo, what's up? Right, yeah. You still going to the event? Yeah, I ordered my dress right now. Let me go, you Okay, good. Me too. Hey, Gina. 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 Hey, Gina.
try to help your constituents. That's what I've tried to do over the last 30 years of my life. Yes, that's what I could say. And then you've always been in charge when it comes to BC, BPL, blah, blah, blah. So now I want to ask a few questions about that because that is your expertise. And I know that I don't know anything about it. I just know what I hear on the streets. So, of mm -hmm. course, I'm going to ask you what I think. Number one is... So they brought in all these generators. Yes. And do you think it's going to fix the actual issue? Because I, I know that when you were in charge, we didn't have all this problems going on. And suddenly it got worse, but they supposed to be fixing. So tell me what do you think. Well, you got to appreciate, first of all, there was a massive fire down at Clifton. The public is not yet aware of what has taken place. The corporation made no statement as to how that fire started, what is the cause of the fire, whether the insurance company is going to pay for those engines and what have you. Or us. So in the meantime, they decided to bring in some standby generators to try to take us through the hot summer. The summer starts really in May. So this and is a standby generators. Well, some of them are standby generators. <sighs> okay. Now, don't forget, this company called Shell West mm -hmm. has now gotten a contract to put up a, a new power station at BEC. I think that's Station 8, which is the oldest station in BEC, about 50, 60 years old. Um, they're now going to put in a new station, a new um, plant in that station. From what I understand. But you know, it is interesting that when you all talk about the suffering that you're going through, when we were there over three years as chairman of the corporation and the team that we put together, we saved the Beeman people in excess of $50 million over three years. The bill was slashed by 40% straight across the board. And if you want to ask one person that, call Rupert Roberts. Every week he was called me, say, Leslie, the, 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 the consumption going down again, the bill going down again. Then you had that steep increase in the general elections and has been in serious trouble ever since. Yes, and yet uh, I feel as if our bills are going up, but yet they're cutting off the electricity more. Well, what they're doing is really power sharing. They're, 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 they're loading in certain areas on the next. You realize that in the day, you have to take care of the business sector. So you're going to find the homes lo with load shedding. The, you, you pick the areas that you're going to load shed. Right. And then it is going to be the small places that they're going to um, load shed with going to be the homes and everything else. And come 7 o'clock, when you want to go home and turn on all your lights, we're going to be in problems in some areas. Now, hopefully, to get that sorted soon enough. So did you think it was necessary for them to bring in this 120 expats to help install these? I read in the newspaper. I'm not sure whether that's true or not. That's the same thing I said. That's why I, I, I figured I, you would have known. I would think it very strange that, that the government would, would need that amount of manpower. And I don't forget, they let go about four to 500 people from B.C., and spent over $70 million in doing so, and now rehiring these people, friends, who are to Freeport and elsewhere. Right. So, you know, you have to ask yourself why that was done. Why would you waste $70 million on a bankrupt corporation that has debt exceeding $600 million? Mm -hmm. Right now, they have to go and borrow $600, $650 million, um, I believe they say, in November of this year. But why would you spend $70 million to get, get rid of trained people? Because most of you let go with the trained staff in management. Right. It made no sense to me. But those guys in charge, so they must have all the brains. I was going to say, that ho hopefully they know what they're doing. This is a, this a little bit. We, the baby people are going to pay for it anyhow. So it really doesn't matter. But, mm, we got to shut up and suck it up. No. So um, when it came to your manifesto that you had written, what were your plans if you had won your seat? My plans? My plans was always what it was from 1987 when I was first elected. Work for and on behalf of the people that you have the pleasure of representing the halls of parliament. Look at putting up parks. The greatest thing that we did was really supplying jobs for our people, uplifting their lives and getting them homes, and assisting them with their schools, um, giving scholarships and the like, assisting with, with the freeing course sometime, paying your BC bill um, if your life was off, and doing things really that helps, helps the community. You have a lot of kids out there. People don't understand in, in the Bahamas today, Kids between the age of 15 to 25, there's a 25% unemployment. Yes. 25%. What are we doing to get those young behaviors to be productive citizens in our country? And you talk about crime, it ties in with the crime situation. Yes. And it's a serious problem. In the schools, you got this de-average that we've been talking about now for the last 15 years. But why that is so? I have a situation where I believe that when we become the next government, we need to set up a parochial school down at the sports center. You know where we dump all the garbage uh -huh. after the hurricane? Uh huh. Right. Put up a 100,000 square foot center there. In all areas of our life, you have a school where the kids, when you're in 10th grade, you know if the kid is going to make it through 12th grade. 
Right. Some kids are just efficient educationally, but they're very skilled with their hands. And I always tell people who try to down behemoths, just look at our junkano. Look at the, the creativity that our people have in them. Lots of talent. So what you do, you set up a school that takes care of every aspect of our daily lives. Electrical, plumbing. Things that we need. Feelings. What you do in your daily life. Yes. Train these kids. You just take the kids there and say, listen, this is a school for you all. Everything that you do, e e electronics, automotive repairs, you name it, you have it at that school. We're gonna the kid is going to pick up on something. We're gonna the kid is going to master something. something. Yes, for and, sure. And they're going to do good in that for the next three years. I saw it happen in the States. At the end of that three-year term, when government high students and RM Bailey students are graduating on that Friday night in June, the kids that went through this institution will be going to work making no less than $350 to $400 a week. Why? Because they have a certification skill that I can fix an air condition. Right. That I can put in tiles, that I can do a ceiling, um, um, ceiling work and, and the like. That's how you have productive citizens. If, if a guy is 18 or 19 years old and he has a fight for the future, he, he has a gateway that I can be somebody. He's not going to go in there and be a bad guy because exactly. he has a the future. The positivity is there. It can He's happen. He's going to go looking for a nice young lady to have a wife and have a family. Because he it, can afford her. But it, exactly. <laughs> but if you don't give him no hope for the future, what do you expect him to do? Okay, everybody. We can hear it. Leslie Miller, when we come back, I'm going to ask him a big question. I really want to know what this man would do if he was the prime minister. Give me two minutes. See you in a minute. Come on into the quality home center. You will see the savings from when you enter. Your one-stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Stay at home and save big. Stop and shop at the quality home center. Home center, spend less and live better. Welcome to Doctors Hospital Pharmacy, open 24 hours a day, ensuring both our inpatients and the general public have access to a full service pharmacy whenever they need it most. At Doctors Hospital, we care about making you feel safe and at home. We know our way around a counter with our team of highly trained, knowledgeable pharmacists available 24 hours a day. We offer a complete range of pharmacy services to all our patients. The pharmacy at Doctors Hospital, open 24 hours a day. This segment is brought to you by Quality Home Center. Spend less, live better. Hi, everybody. We're back to No Filter with me, Gina Knowles, my special guest, Leslie Miller. So before I go on to my next question, I have asked you why everybody's calling you Pot Cake. Well, you know, I, if you listen to the song Pot Cake, the song said, they don't love me, they only know me <laughs> when they need me. <laughs> that was written for you? And oh, you wrote that. <laughs> politically, that's the story of my life. <laughs> And when you look oh, at darling. the resiliency of a Bahamian pot cake, um, scientists from the United States and Canada and England took our pot cakes to their countries. Yes. And assessed why these dogs are so tough and strong. And they found that our pot cakes are the toughest, one of the toughest creatures on God's earth. And that's why I call myself the pot cake. That's a regular Bahamian. How long have you had that name? Oh, at least 30 years since I got in politics, I called myself the pot cake from 1987. I was the people's pot cake. Ah, uh, that, that's a, that's... It, it's, it's, it's a good, strong dog. They're, they're, they're obedient. They mind your yard. You can depend on them. <laughs> so now you, you all know. know. That's and why he's the pot cake. Okay, that's what it's all about. now pot cake, if you was a prime minister, tell mm -hmm. me what would you be doing right now? I mean, other I know you'd be here on my show still, look at, but... <laughs> looking at the economy... We need to diversify and expand our economic base. We cannot continue to rely on tourism, financial services, and construction. The Bahamas has many opportunities to create jobs in this country. Mm -hmm. First of all, as a prime minister, you've got to consider one thing. And the main thing you've got to focus on is job creation, permanent and productive jobs for young Bahamians. You have five to 6,000 school leavers coming out every year. What are you going to do with these kids? Not many are going to be able to go to college, not many be, 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 go to units of Bahamas. So you have to find at least 4,000 jobs for these children. You then sit 
with the local manufacturers in the Bahamas, those of us who are involved in, in, in light manufacturing and import substitution entities, you go through the, the, the whole gambit of the economy and you sit with those Bahamas to see whether they can assist the government in creating these jobs. So you'll be very accessible as a prime minister. Always. And I'm probably well, the most accessible I agree. Know, politician you can find. It's true. It's you true. Know, because you, you, you have nothing to hide. I mean, you, you, you are there to serve the people. Yes. Therefore, you have to be accessible. And that's, what, that's where a lot of politicians make a mistake. As soon as they get elected, they change the telephone numbers. Yes. And you can't see them anymore. I, they offer Facebook. Like they offer. Yeah. No one can't find uh, them. Like I say, on Tuesday, this guy would be a regular dumbo. And come, Benesi, once he's elected, he's a genius. And I want to let everybody know, too, that, you know, during Hurricane Relief with us with Had Knowles, you know, Mr. Miller was one of those who was on the plane with us. He didn't come as a member of parliament. He came on, he brought food, and I thought it was so cute because his truck pulls up with all these rotisserie chickens. And he was like, and we, it was it because, was you know, we're carrying food. And he was like, well, hang on, on the cook. <laughs> and he, I'm telling you, he had hundreds and hundreds of cooked chickens. And I was like, actually very clever. So then the next plane, we took pizza. <laughs> yeah. We took a little bit of his idea. But he was with us. We were working as a team. It didn't matter, you know, and we, we explained. We didn't, it, it wasn't about politics. He, doesn't, he didn't call us up that he was Leslie Miller. And I think it was your son-in-law moved with us. Yes. And yeah. it was... It was, it was and, and my good friend, Eddie Dowell. Yeah, and we, we were all together. one family, and everybody worked together. And that's what it's about when it comes to change. It's going to change in our country. And when everybody asks me, why are you even interviewing um, Leslie Miller? First of all, what y'all don't know about me, I'm a swing voter. I vote for who I believe in. I don't care about no party. I don't care if I believe in the person. I always, always wished I could move to the constituency so that I could vote for the person. We should change that. When you become prime yeah. minister, no, let's, let, that we, let's change um, some of these rules about how mm. a certain people, if I could vote who I want to vote for. I have and, no interest in being yeah. the prime minister. <laughs> Look what My he's only doing interest now. is to be the best MP that I can be. Listen, that man the over there, you, he's calling you his prime minister. You know, I just let you know. Let me clear that exactly. up. Right there, right there, he say. Okay, so now we're going to ask him the down-to-earth questions to learn about who he is and the be behind the scenes of Leslie Miller because it always isn't just the MP, okay? So are you ready? I'm going to ask you some quick questions. Yes, and first thing on the top of your head, give me the answer, yeah. all right? Do you like coffee, tea, or orange juice? Orange juice. Morning or night person? Morning. French fries or carrots? Carrots, but I'd probably eat more French fries than carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Hot or cold weather? Cool. Boat or a plane? Plane, I like to get there quick. Yeah, me too. Loud party or quiet dinner? Very quiet. T-shirt or suit? T-shirt. Every, every Saturday, that's all you see me in my T-shirt. He actually asked if he could come in a T-shirt today. I'm yeah. not going to lie. That's a true story. <laughs> what is your sign? Aries, March 24th. Oh, that's right. What is, your what is the funniest thing that's ever happened to you? I think I would have so many episodes in my life. I would say I, I, I was funny one, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what is the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? The first time I went on a, on a, on a chopper. On a helicopter? During, on a helicopter during the elections. And the helicopter was having some problems. Oh, no. I thought I'd say in my last day. I, <laughs> that is scary. It wasn't bad, you know. I did that once, and I'm never doing that again. Yeah. Okay, what if you could play one song for the rest of your life? What would the song be? Don't say pot cake now. It'd probably be Jerry Butler, only the strong survive. <laughs> <laughs> or do you speak any other languages? Only baby. Okay. Yeah, that's special. Do you change your, your own oil and your tires in your car, or somebody well, does it? Well, I would do it, or, or Jason or one of the fellows who work with me. We'll get it done. You know how to do it, though? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, if you were stranded on an island, what would be your one necessity item and your one luxury item? Well, I'd try to get water first, and then I'll ask you to stay there with me. Oh, <laughs> Andrew, watch out now. This man actually could afford me. <laughs> I got trouble to afford that right now. <laughs> this government killing me, yeah? Uh, do you sing in the shower? No. You don't? Well, Stop lying. Depends on if I in the shower by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever ice skated? Once, when I was in El Paso in school in Texas. Okay. And what is your pet peeve? Driving at night, going home every night, and seeing these behemoths driving without any lights at all, and how they randomly run the speed lights with no respect for no other driver on the road. It's a total disgrace what we allow to happen in this I, country. I'm telling you, I total hate disgrace. it. I hate it. I mean, you need to do something about it. 
Okay, and last question. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I always wanted to be a businessman. My father was a major contractor in the Bahamas, and I always emulated him, and I don't, always wanted to go into the business for myself. Which you've done very good. And I was you... lucky God is good, and my parents blessed me. And um, I came from a very large family. Fourteen of us survived. Nine, my mother had nine boys and nine girls. And 13 of us are still living with three set of twin sisters. Holy moly. So, See, know, something I didn't know. All right, everybody. So, Leslie Miller, thank you so much for joining me. Thank I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again. And, of course, when you are reelected yep. and you become prime minister, you know. That that ain't I, want, I don't want you to come try. You know, people are telling me to run. So, now, if I start a party, are you coming to join me on my party? We, we could talk about that because you probably end up joining us. <laughs> I got to be the boss. That's the problem. That's all right. We have plenty bosses. <laughs> I know, right? Women always be the boss. Anyhow, you're, 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 we, we, you're bossy to begin I was going to say, you know, yeah, it takes I, a great woman. I, I, I don't have a problem with no woman bossing me. Yeah, all right. All right, everybody. Have a good day. Thanks so much, Mr. Miller, for joining me. And Thank I really appreciate it. Me. All right, darling. Appreciate it. Bye. My pleasure. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas, Bank of the Bahamas, Quality Home Center, Dairy Queen, Chef Boyardee, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and The Pediatric Place. Hey DQ fans, everyone knows DQ has the best sweet treats, but we also have delicious and affordable food options too. Presenting the DQ $7 Fan Meal. For just $7, choose from one of three delicious oven hot sandwiches, chicken bacon ranch, grilled chicken, or turkey BLT. Plus enjoy a DQ Sunday, a soda and a chip, all for just $7. This is one ridiculous deal you don't want to miss. DQ, it's fan food, not fast food. Phones are good, but why have one good thing when you can have everything? Get unlimited local and international calling with Trio. Get everything. Only $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. That's everything you need for $99 a month. Ask for Trio. Call 601-2200 or email residential sales at cablebahamas.com. Rev, you and us together. Fish home to daddy. World's smallest fish. Why, Katie? Yes. This is heavy. Yes, yeah, boy. No, no, no. Take a fish on the boat today. Yes. That's my fish. Drop it, drop it back. Why you want to catch a fish today? Another one, baby. Another one. We already found some fish, but we're going to find some more. Plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at info at live2.fish. This segment is brought to you by Dairy Queen. Fan food, not fast food. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the No Filter Show. And we're here now for our best of head nodes with Gina Mangucci Jenkins. That's a hard name, but just like uh, Miguel said, she sounds like a famous brand. <laughs> <laughs> right? Absolutely. Welcome, Gina. So we're the two Ginas of the Head Knowles admins. And um, not to be confused, we have Gina Knowles. And actually, we usually will say last names when That's we're trying right. to clear it up. That's right. So welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, well, it's a pleasure. And really excited because I know you you and these tough schedules of being a teacher and all. She's been like, yes. you know, I, I say, what you mean? Y'all have a life. <laughs> I'm confused because everybody else on Head Knowles don't think we have a life. I know, right? You we, have a life? I, for real, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, first of all, I want to, you're, you are an American. I am. Married I am. to Bahamian. I am. How long have you been here? I've been here for 12 years. A good, good while. Yes, How much kids yes. you have? I have three children. Yep. And um, so she, she basically, and them Bahamian, them, them children Bahamians? They are. Yep. yep. Okay. Born and bred. Yep. So she know a lot. And it's good, like I always like to say, we're, we're a very diverse group of our jury. And it's good that when we have these um, 
all, all the different people who get to say, let's keep it, let's not keep it. And we, I think they were very fair. Exactly. Because we're Absolutely. all very different, right? Absolutely. We're all very different, but our heart's in the same spot. Yes. Yes. And, and we all it. bring different things to the table so we can bounce ideas off one another and say, oh, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? And it works. And how did you become an admin? <laughs> That's a funny story. Um, I think it was actually over cut up chicken and pork at Nesbitt's. But, um, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but the background behind that is Leah's daughter, Callie, and my second daughter, Saren, are two peas in a pod. And they've known each other since they were one, one and a half, and mm -hmm. we're just inseparable from there. So I became good friends with Leah Head, mm -hmm. and yeah, we just get into mischief when we're together. And, <laughs> all right, and then sometimes we there's only certain people who we allow to become admins. It has to be people who we trust. We have this bond with, and we know you understand how we think, too. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I remember that night. We were like, why aren't you an admin? Exactly. And boop, so, hey, that night sitting at dinner, <laughs> boop, she became an admin. That's I think true. it was you and Dina, the That's same true. time. Yeah, it was the same promoted. time right then. Yeah, it, yep. it was really funny. So what is your favorite part of being an admin? Uh, my favorite part is I grew up in a very small town in Oregon on the West Coast. And if you went downtown and you didn't say hello, look somebody in the eye or say good morning, good afternoon, they would be on the phone calling my grandma and then I would hear about it when I came back home. Right. So for me, it was an easy transition moving here. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that there's so much positivity on it. That's something. And it's this community because we are so connected with Head Knowles. I mean... Goodness, somebody just broke down on the side of the road the other day. Yes. And they had their tire fixed within, I think, 15, 20 minutes. Yes. So it's it's that outreach because even though we're more connected today with technology, we, there's, we're so far apart at the same time mm -hmm. because people like to hide behind those screens. Yes. Um, but I do feel that Head Knowles is that community. We're almost like that grandmother. I, I just said today, I felt like we're, we're like a lodge. Yes. We're like a yes. secret lodge. Yes, And we absolutely. help each other and it's, it's, we could do a little shout out. Yeah. Okay, so that being your favorite, what is the worst part of being an admin? <sighs> My goodness. Um, the worst part is the negativity, you know, and having to deal with those people that mm -hmm. will hide behind the screens and hide behind the keyboards. I mean, you are you and I am me. If you meet me on the road, this is me. This is who I'm going exactly. to be. Exactly. And not everybody has that same thing. And not everybody would speak up and say the exact things that they do because they get to hide behind their keyboard and their monitor at home. And who is the meanest of us? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I actually think we take turns passing that crown around because there are certain days when you were just like, I'm not putting up with anybody's, you know? Right. And you're like, off with their heads. Yeah. Or I'll be like, no, off with their heads. We're not dealing with it. So I think we actually take turns with that role. Oh, a different opinion. Hey, everybody has a yeah. little different opinion. So um, last question is, Tell me, in your words, what is Head Knowles? Oh, my goodness. Head Knowles is that, that go-to, that help. In, 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 you know, I mean, knock on wood, we're not having to deal with any storms in yes. the new future. But we are. We're that relief. We're that, that rock that you can turn to and say, hey, I have this question. I need advice on this. Because, I mean, I myself know this is my home. I have... This right. is where I live, you right. know, but a lot of times you have questions of like, oh, goodness, where am I going to go for this? Or who do I talk to about this? And it's an open arena where you can put these questions out and get that love back. Yes. And I love that. Exactly. So, everybody, this is Gina Jenkins, Gina Mangucci Jenkins. Yes. And uh, we're so happy to have her. And uh, I really appreciate you coming. Thank you. And letting everybody know. We like to know the background, the best of head and olds, what's yes. happening. Yes. And hope to see you next season. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Thank Love you, you much. Me. See you later. Bye. Bye. Phone is good. Internet is good. TV is good. But why just pick one thing when you can have everything with Tria? Only $99 a month gets you phone internet and cable that's everything you need for $99 a month ask for trio call 601-2200 or email residential sales at cablebahamas.com rev you and us together and we're back to the no filter show hope you enjoyed our segments with leslie miller and gina jenkins and to end off today i want to let y'all know about what happened with this hairdo of mine so I don't think that everybody understands. I am starting to understand and appreciate what women go through with having 
curly hair, straight hair. You know, every week you try to make your hair look a little different, whatever, you know. And my hairdresser, let me tell you, I don't know what I'll do without her because she, to put up with me isn't easy. So you know those spiral rods that you put in your hair, not the curlers, but the rods? I hate sitting under the dryer, and I decided to put those in, and then I was like, don't worry. I don't have to go to the dryer. I'm going to sleep in them. No. So now I leave the hairdresser. Of course, my husband, my one good husband, tells me he needs something from the food store. I then had to go into the food store with my hair looking like Medusa. And then I get to go home and I decided, and I'm doing really good with this spirally hair thing, right? And then I decided I'm gonna try to lay down and go to sleep. Oh my God, it did not work. So you should see me in the middle of the night pulling these out and dropping them on the side of my bed. And I was like, I'm only gonna do half to try to sleep to the bottom. And then I had a, and it was just disastrous. So that is why it is pinned the way it is. And I was like, whatever. I couldn't even touch it. I didn't know what to do. So I'll just like to say shout out to all my women who go through this every day of their life and sit under that stupid dryer. I love you all. And I think you are, you are a phenomenal woman. Way to go. Because I can't do it. And I'm not doing it anymore. No, I'm soon going to lock up my hair. Soon. It's going to be soon. Then my mommy may disown me, but I don't know. So I hope everybody has a great day. And um, I think that I just like to say that those of you who have been, be, you know, contributing to what being the change and helping out people and being nice on the street and understanding and love thy neighbor, way to go. Be the change you want to see. Hope you have a great weekend. And uh, it's hump day, Wednesday. Continue to share. Make sure to like No Filter page. Thanks for watching. Promotional consideration provided by Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center.